Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes with another Fusion 360 video for you. Since Valentine's Day is around the corner, I thought I'd pick something um, Valentine's-y to demonstrate a technique. So I modeled this heart here, and as you can see, it's got a little hole in there. The idea is uh, it's meant to be a pendant, so you can wear it around your neck. Well, I guess you don't have to wear it, but you can give it to someone as a gift. But the main thing I wanted to show is a technique on how to get this curvy shape to it. So as you can see, I didn't just create like a flat heart. I gave it this nice shape and wanted to just quickly go through the technique I used to get that shape because I think it's pretty powerful. So I guess there's been a, a theme lately of um, modeling unique shapes in Fusion 360 the last uh, uh, couple of weeks here. So go ahead, take a crack at it, um, pause the video and try to model this on your own and then come back and we can compare approaches. All right, I'll see you in a few. I'll approach this by first creating a sketch on my ZX plane and then I'm going to hit L for line and draw a line straight up. Now the distance here just depends on how tall you want to make your pendant. I'm going to go about 40 millimeters and the important thing is to make sure you have that vertical constraint there. Now I'm going to take this line and select it and hit X to make it a construction line and then I'm going to grab my spline point and draw half of the heart and I'm just going to do that by placing a few spline points first and then coming back and just adjusting these points here to give me uh, the shape of my heart. So that looks pretty decent there. Now I'm going to go and mirror this so I'll go to create down to mirror, my object is going to be the spline curve here and my mirror line is going to be my construction line in the middle and I'll click OK. All right, now notice because it's mirror, I can simply adjust these and it'll mirror it to the other side. But I'm going to click Stop Sketch and now I'm going to create another sketch, this time on a perpendicular plane. So I'll choose that XY plane and this sketch is going to determine the curve of my heart. So I'm going to go back to spline and I'll just draw a general curve here and now I can stop sketch and I can extrude this curve but I can't extrude it from the solid workspace I have to go into my surface workspace so I'll select that go to create extrude select my spline curve now I can take that arrow I'll go to a front view here or a top view um, take that arrow and just drag it all the way through to cover my heart click OK and now I can go back to my solid environment um, that's all I needed from the surface workspace here so I'll hit E for extrude select my heart but instead of starting at the profile plane here I'm going to change that to from object and my object is going to be the surface I just created and I'll take that arrow and just drag it up I'm going to go five millimeters looks good I'll click OK and now you can see my heart has a nice curve to it following that surface that I made and I can get rid of that surface I don't need it anymore I'll just untoggle it and now you can see the shape of my heart having that beautiful curve to it okay let's oh beautiful thing here um, is that you can still bring back those sketches and change those spline points so it kind of looks like the Batman sign now but I'll bring this in I can still come back and adjust it and you get to see sort of that live view of how it's affecting that change and I can also change that curve by bringing in that curve sketch and you know maybe this is just a little too high I can bring that down a bit and you get to see how it updates so very nice uh, nice way to just um, go back and make changes and just you know tweak it and see what you like okay let's add that hole in here so we can hang this pendant so um, we'll go back to that first sketch here that we made we'll just edit that sketch I'm just gonna drop a circle right here uh, C for circle make that about three millimeters move it into place and then I can just simply go and extrude that right through Oops grab that circle and I'll just uh, extrude it through my heart uh, distance I'll just go to all click OK and finally what we can do is just add some fillets so uh, to round this out we'll hit F for fillet and I'll select all the front and the back edges here um, all four and I'll also fill at the bottom a bit just so it won't be so sharp and I'll give this a one millimeter fillet 
click OK. And there's my heart with that nice curve to it. All right, did you come up with the same solution? Uh, if you did, let me know. If you didn't, uh, I'd love to hear what approach you took. Like I said, there's uh, so many ways that you could approach this. I just think this is a really neat and straightforward technique to follow when you need these kinds of curves. If you have any questions on my approach, just leave it down in the comments below. All right, guys, hit like if you like this and subscribe because I'm here every week doing these uh, short, quick videos for you. And I'll see you next week.